It's Dayton Bronco Friday Night Football. On Saturday, Dayton versus Austin LBJ in Austin, Texas. Produced by Tubes Graphics. Tubes Graphics, always believe. On the second play of the game, Austin LBJ finds out just how hard it is to run against the Broncos. LBJ drives down to the 25-yard line but faces a fourth down. They go for it. The LBJ quarterback gets the ball, rolls out, and throws in. Incompletion. Dayton takes over on down. Dayton gets the ball and moves down the field. This pass to Jamal Fowler moves the Broncos down inside the 30-yard line. Then Andreas hands off to Xavier Baldwin. Two good blocks, key a good run. The Broncos get down to about the five-yard line but are unable to convert a first down. Juan Caranco comes out and kicks a 25-yard field goal. The Broncos go up three to zero. The Broncos get the ball back after the Dayton defense forces LBJ to three plays in a punt. This screen pass to Xavier Baldwin puts the Broncos in scoring position. The Broncos are unable to capitalize and after three incomplete passes, Juan Caranco comes in and kicks another field goal. Dayton scores again and goes up six to zero. Bronco defense once again stops LBJ. Dayton gets the ball back. This pass to Xavier Frank produces a big gain and puts Dayton into scoring position. On the next play, the Broncos go back for a pass. Andreas sets and connects to Jared Goss, who gets down to the four yard line. On the next play, Peyton takes the snap and goes to the right and scores a touchdown. Dayton scores the first touchdown of the game. Juan Caraco kicks the point after and it's good. Dayton goes up 13 to zero with nine minutes left in the second quarter. After the Bronco touchdown, LBJ is just unable to move the ball down the field. The Bronco defense stiffens and doesn't allow LBJ to get anything going. This play is just one of the many sacks that the Broncos get on the LBJ quarterback. Faced with the fourth down, LBJ decides to punt, but they try a fake punt, but pressure on number 29 forces an incomplete pass. The Broncos take over on downs. The Broncos face the third and 12 when Andreas gets the ball and rolls back. He finds Xavier ball one on a crossing route. Xavier cuts around the corner and races down the field for a big game. Two plays later, Andreas takes the snap, takes four steps back and connects with Peyton Plough for a Bronco touchdown. Juan Caranco is once again good on the point after attempt. The score now stands, Broncos 20, LBJ 0. After the kickoff, LBJ gets the ball back, but is still unable to move the ball against the Broncos. An incomplete pass on second down forces LBJ into a pass. The quarterback takes off, but is unable to get the necessary yardage for the first down. Facing fourth down, LBJ decides to go for it and runs up the middle. But a great play by Dayton Broncos, number 32, Aaron Jenkins, stops the play in its tracks. The officials bring out the chain for a measurement, and it's short. Dayton takes over the ball on downs again. Dayton gets the ball back after LBJ fails on fourth down. This scramble by Dayton's quarterback, Andreas, moves the ball inside the 20 yard line. Three plays later, Andreas goes back and throws a bullet to Peyton Plough for another Bronco touchdown.
Caraco continues his excellence and kicks another PAT. The score with 43 seconds left. Dayton 27, LBJ 0. That ends the scoring for the first half. After the Broncos punt the ball, the Dayton defense teaches LBJ the Dayton defensive dance steps. One, two, and three. Then kick. A great punt by the LBJ punter. Gets around the Bronco receiver and rolls all the way down to the one yard line. Peyton Plow takes a snap but is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. LBJ scores a safety. Both teams trade punts in the third quarter. This sack by the Dayton defense sets up another LBJ punt. Dayton takes over the ball at the end of the third quarter. The third quarter score is Dayton 27, LBJ 2. Unable to move the ball, the Broncos have to punt, but the defense once again stiffens. On second down, the LBJ quarterback throws an incomplete pass. On third down, LBJ tries to run, but the run is stopped. LBJ will go for it on fourth down. The quarterback goes back for a pass, but he's sacked by the Dayton defense. The Broncos take over on downs. After a couple of first downs, Dayton faces fourth and one. Andreas takes the snap and hands off to Xavier Baldwin, who breaks through the line and races down inside the 10-yard line. Two plays later, Peyton Plow takes the snap and runs right and crosses the goal line for another Bronco touchdown. On the PAT attempt, the snap's bobbled. The Broncos are unable to convert the point after attempt. The score now stands Dayton 33, LBJ 2. After a good return, LBJ gets good field position, but the first play is intercepted by the Dayton Broncos. After two incomplete passes, Dayton faces a third down. Andreas connects with Peyton Plo for a long gain and a Bronco first down. Dayton is able to get one more first down, moving down to the 18-yard line when Juan Caraco connects from 35 yards and scores a field goal. The score now stands the Broncos 36, LBJ 2. With the Bronco reserves in the game, LBJ mounts a drive and goes all the way down inside the 10-yard line. This trick play is unsuccessful on third down and sets up a fourth and goal with seven seconds left. LBJ takes the snap and throws a pass, but it's incomplete. The Broncos take over on downs. The Broncos enter into victory formation and drain the last second of the clock. The Broncos finish the season at eight and two and get ready for the five district round of the playoffs. Dayton Bronco Friday Night Lights Football, produced by Tubes Graphics. Tubes Graphics, always believe. The by district round of the playoffs, 19-4A versus 24-A. Dayton versus Vider. Crosby versus Needland. Goose Creek Memorial versus Central. And Barbers Hill will take on PNG. The Dayton Broncos enter the playoffs for the 14th year in a row. Dayton Broncos and Toops Graphics. A believing combination. <laughs>